Hello everybody, Ministorm here. Welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV Online Heavensward. In the last episode, we had our dinner with uh, Sir Emmerich. Went through all of that. And then we got word that uh, Alice, uh, Alphano's sister, had been injured while tracking the Warriors of Darkness. And that uh, she had been poisoned. And that uh, she delivered information that the Warriors of Darkness were heading to Zelfatol, where the Ixali um, live, to induce them to summon Shiva, not Shiva, Garuda, that's the correct one, um, and then destroy it. So uh, it, apparent, it is apparent that the Warriors of Darkness are basically causing the beast tribes to summon their primals and then destroying them for some reason working with the Asians. so we're gonna have to head into Zelfatol and see what we can get done there so let's go ahead and just queue ourselves into the duty finder now do i want to queue in as samurai as you can see i've gone ahead and re-glamored my gear again going back to um a a look that I had tried out for a little while, but kind of went back to the the ironworks. But now I'm trying this back out again. I do want to get a new katana for glamour, but I'm still working on that. I mean, this is nice, but I've had it around for a while, so I have an idea of one that I want to use. But um, it's just a matter of uh, getting my hands on it. All right, so. I think we're going to go ahead and we're going to keep um, doing dungeons as warrior for now. Because it's just easier to get the dungeons to, to go. So let's go ahead and head into duty finder for Zelfatol. Queue in and see what happens. So while we are waiting, I am going to go ahead and check on our squadron. The mission was a success. Good. I leveled up. Let's see. They don't have any new abilities yet. As mission affinity is at maximum, tactical ability is increased. Uh, search and rescue. I think we probably can do this one. Uh, the, the physical is a little bit low. Mission to finish the rogue archer. Well, let me just check one other thing. Um, oh, duty's ready. So we'll go ahead and take care of that first, and then I'll mess around with this later. All right, commence.
right. Make sure we're in defiance. Now we're gonna watch out for those falling boulders as we progress. you and I'm going to drag you wherever it is we're going to be setting up camp next. Make sure I maintain threat on this thing. Toads. Make sure we can come on this one slug. There we go. Chasm Harpia, grab you, and we're gonna drag you into the next group. Make sure we get everybody in the other powers. First boss. Pretty straightforward. Let's make sure everybody gets here. Yep, there we go. Alright, so primarily normal stuff, dodge AOE. At some point, he's gonna pop himself up into the air, which he just did, and then this, this little circle indicates where he is. Now, we need to deal with the ads. Now, when the turret gets destroyed, we need to make sure that someone is standing directly under the boss. This is gonna kick everybody up into the air. And someone needs to be under the boss to hit him and knock him down. Looks like that's gonna be my job. All right, air stones make the boss vulnerable, so DPS needs to deal with them. If the DPS doesn't deal with them, I will.
All right. Pretty simple. over here a little bit. I'm actually going to bring everybody together here. Now, don't step on the spikes around the outside. Obviously. in front of me. I right, already passed on that. Alright, I think this is the way we go. I think this is the way we go. It's been a while since I've been in here, so... Do we miss a loot? Yeah, yeah. Someone needs to get the key. There we go. Right, we didn't get any loot out of that coffer. Well, we got something. But it wasn't actual, like, gear loot. It looks like the healer is disconnecting. Oh, lord. Looks like they're back. Maybe. Or not. Alright, well I guess I'll pause and once he's back I'll resume. Okay, looks like the healer's back. So, I'll go ahead and uh, resume once they're here. Alright, let's get to it.
All right, second boss. The big mechanic with him are going to be these things around the outside. All right, so I'm going to keep him in the middle relatively. Make sure that my back is to one of those panels, because he's going to do a knockback, and he's going to push into the spikes on the outside. And if you don't have your back to one of those uh, panels, you'll get thrown into the spikes, which is not going to be good. Which I wasn't positioned properly. Because of course I wasn't. All right. Now the other thing that he's going to do is he's going to spawn these tornadoes on individual people. And you really don't want to put them in the path of one of the walls. That's usually a fairly bad idea. Or drop them in the middle. That would also be a fairly bad idea. That guy should go run that somewhere else. Why are you dropping it there? Uh, fortunately, we just straight up overpowered the boss, but uh, that was a bit sloppy. It could have been. these guys we have these war balloons coming in from the sides that need to be destroyed or else they continuously spawn ads Ads drop an air stone. Which you use to activate the tailwind relic there. Which then I'll just stand on this thing and slide across. over here. side. Nice. 
grab the air stone. And one last group of trash here. Excuse me. Almost had a sneeze there. Alright, last boss. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag him out of the center a little bit. Spread those out so you don't overlap them. Alright, gather up on that guy. Some damage. Now he's going to call a mini Garuda. He's going to do an AoE. You don't want to be in the AoE and you want to spread these things out. And that's pretty much the fight. Alright, gather up. Again, this time I think this is a different shape AoE, yep. There we go. Done. Give out accommodations, so I'll give it to the healer. And uh, pass on the loot. I don't need it. And 
and we'll head out of here and most likely watch a cutscene. Thank the gods! What happened? So they were unable to see the ritual to its completion. Then Garuda is no longer a threat, and whatever the Asians and the Warriors of Darkness were planning has come to naught. But we should not tarry. The Knights have secured our path to safety. Well, well. What do we have here? You'd better not have killed the Primal without us. You! Wait, I know you! Still walking, I see. I could have sworn my aim was true. Just what is your game? Leading us a long way so these fools could step in and claim our prize? No, no. Let's not make hasty accusations. By the look of things, the ritual was proceeding as planned. We arrived at the appointed hour. It was they who erred. It is hopeless. We cannot face them all. Do mine ears deceive? A boy! So that's the way of it. Twins! You had me worried for a moment there. Know that I will happily make it quicker for you. If you just stand still. Enough, Jarumu. We wouldn't want to upset the man in white with any unnecessary bloodshed now, would we? You've been awfully busy since we were kind enough to spare your lives. While you were idly consorting with the Asians, you mean? Seven hells! What could you possibly hope to achieve? Should I explain it to you? Very well. Consider it a reward of sorts for beating us here. You know the tale of Hydaelyn and Zodiac, I take it? Of the Great Sundering and the reflections it created? Across ten and three they were divided. Reflections of the Source, each possessed of shards of light and dark. Just so. One of those reflections, the one nearest to the Source, is our home. And we were the heroes blessed with her light. But not all worlds hold light and dark in equal measure. In ours, the power of light was greater by far. So the Asians who once threatened our home were no match, and they fell before us, one after another, till none were left. Victory, we thought. And then came the light. A flood of pure, blinding radiance, annihilating shadow and color and life itself. Ere long, it will consume our world, leaving naught in its wake but blank perfection. That... that cannot be. Do you honestly expect us to believe such a story? Believe what you like. But it has happened before, on a world far removed from ours. The Thirteenth, which was swallowed by the dark and transformed into what you call the Void. Unchallenged light would condemn us to a similar fate. And so we joined hands with our former enemies 
and with their aid came here, to the source. For there is but one way to restore the balance and save our home. The Arda. Calamitous destruction with the power to break down the barriers between planes and see our worlds rejoined. You would doom our world to save your own? What would even become of us? Of you? Enough. I tire of talking. You know our cause. You know what is at stake. We are prepared to do whatever it takes. Are you? If there is aught you would say, say it. Otherwise, be gone. You have no friends here. Okay, so, I guess from what I gather from that, if I remember correctly, that, uh, you know, when the Hydaelyn and the Zodiac were separated, it created these shards or reflections that are essentially alternate realities, and they are from one of them that is in trouble, it would seem. And they're coming here to try to break down the barriers between the worlds and rejoin them. I'm not exactly sure what that will do, but uh, we will see what we can do here. All right, so let's talk to Alphano and see what he has to say about this. All things considered, we should be grateful to have survived that encounter. Do you think it could be true that to save their world, they must bring ruin to ours? No, no, it matters not. Such wanton destruction is beyond justification. Whatever their reasons, they must be stopped. The sacrifice, the loss, it ends here. So they were basically the warriors of light, or from their own reality. But now they've become the warriors of darkness here. So we'll have to see how this plays out. All right. Alpha Nova would like nothing more than to get out of the snow. Now forgive me, this is neither the time nor the place for idle introspection. The knights can apprise Lord Edmont of our success, and we the Lord Commander. More importantly, I should like to see if my sister's condition has improved. You may take a moment for yourself if you wish. I will be at the congregation. All right, so I guess we'll just head back to Ishgard and check in with Emmerich. in here and Emmerich appears to be on the first floor so we'll go ahead and chat with him it brings me joy to see you safely return to us Ayame. what news from Zelfatol uh, then we were not too late on behalf of Ishgard I offer you my deepest thanks as for we who remain behind Mistress Yust Mistress Yustola has been tending to Mistress Alice in your absence, and I am pleased to report that she has regained consciousness. I imagined you have many questions, especially given your recent encounter with the Warriors of Darkness. I know I do. Come, let me show you to her room. 
Don't worry, her condition is much improved. She is a resilient one, much like her brother. Alize, how are you feeling? Well enough, brother. Thanks to the kindness of our hosts. They told me you had departed for Zelfatol while I was still abed. I slept much better knowing that. Thank you. I take it your mission was a success. As if we needed any further confirmation that they are in league with the Asians. But to save another world? I think not. I too thought his story fanciful at first. But it is possible there may be a kernel of truth in all of this. At the very least, none of his claims contradict the word's account. You were following these people, Alizé. Why? During my travels, I had often enjoyed tales of the Scions and their exploits. But after a time, I began to hear whispers of a gifted and theretofore unknown band of adventurers. Adventurers who had supposedly sworn to travel the realm slaying primals in the Scions' stead. The Warriors of Darkness. And in the course of investigating these rumours, you stumbled upon the Asians' involvement. Yes, exactly. Forgive me, but if these warriors of darkness mean to bring about another calamity, to what end do they hunt primals? To prompt an escalation. To deepen the beast tribe's feelings of helplessness and despair, and thereby drive them to summon ever more powerful gods. And lest we forget, these events do not occur in isolation. With their patron deities being slain left and right, the news of man's victory over Nidhogg must surely have sown panic in the minds of the Beastmen. Tis no wonder they wish to defend themselves. Power answered with greater power. Death with more death. A vicious cycle fueled by fear and hatred. I know it's like all too well. Indeed. The Asians sow discord and desperation and the warriors of darkness reap the harvest. And so it continues. Yet that is not the extent of their ambitions. The Asian himself observed that once the powerless realize that the old gods have failed them, they will have little recourse but to look to a new one. We cannot let that happen. It should come as no surprise but Alizé and I have uncovered evidence that the Asians have been manipulating certain parties to ensure that a constant stream of crystals flows into the hands of the beast tribes. If we sever these supply lines, we should at least be able to slow the escalation. Agreed. Kral and I shall journey to Zelfatol and learn what we can of the Ixar's source. Then I, for my part, pledge to lead a similar investigation into the origin of the Nath supply. Sir Emmerich? As a member of the Eorzean Alliance, Ishgard is on a bound to play an active role in maintaining the security of the realm. You might also say that I have some personal motivation, given the Asians' dealings with my father. However, I make no secret of the fact that my knowledge of primal beings is scant at best. As such, I should be most grateful if one of your order were to assist me. Allow me, Sir Emmerich. I have dealt with the Nath before. Let us consult with Orianja, then. Given his dedication to the study of primal beings, I should be surprised if he could not tell us something of value. Allow me to accompany you, brother. And before you think to refuse, know that I am not the girl I once was. I shall not be a burden. 
You have my word. But Alize, you... You are more than welcome. After all, it was you who set us upon this path. Wait a minute. I'm afraid I can't allow you to leave just yet. Not until you try on the new outfit I prepared for you. Alright, yep, the Taro and her outfits. Alright, let's talk to Alpha now. Would I be right in assuming that you have not spoken with my sister since? One of the memorial services, was it? By the twelve, it seems a lifetime ago. I should like to think we have both grown since then. My apologies for keeping you waiting. Right then, shall we be off? Totaro never ceases to impress, though for a moment I feared she might furnish you with an identical outfit. Praise the Twelve, she did not. Mother and father were rather too fond of making us wear matching clothes. Do you remember that time at the studium, wherein that girl of yours crept up behind me in the hall and whispered? Sister, please, she was not my... <clears throat> Can we not have this conversation in front of the Warrior of Light? So be it. Another time, perhaps. It is an honor, Ayame. I realize we are barely acquainted, but having heard so much about you, it hardly feels that way. Uh, let's see. A pleasure to have you with us. New garments aside, I must say that you seem different, more resolute than when last we met. You have the look of a woman who is ready to fight for the future of Eorzea. To the extent of my abilities, perhaps, but I have no delusions of grandeur, nor will I pr pretend to have found myself or any such thing. I am here today because I would regret it if I weren't, that is all. Fair enough. Let us depart for the Waking Sands, then, and see if Oriange can be of assistance. Alright, I'm probably going to have to end the episode here. I am having some trouble with my sinuses today, and it's making trying to, uh, trying to read and talk a bit difficult. Alright. So, for now, we'll end it here. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.